and we are live. It is time. Game four. And Curious has an opportunity, Apollo, to really take a significant lead here in this matchup. Anytime that you can be up three one in a best of seven means that you are going to be sitting in a pretty good shape. And based off the way that we've seen Curious open a few times, that could even put him a little bit further ahead uh, in terms of uh, flexibilities and aggression and what he can do. Let's introduce our players here in the southeast position as the Blue Zerg. It is Star Tail Life. And here in the northwest position as the Red Zerg, it is Star Tail Curious. And as hectic as that last game really was, there was so much action all over the uh, over the place with Ling run bias, Roach run bias, Burrow infestors, and so on. Is that the big big turning point was when Life said, "Hey, I see you taking your fourth base, but I'm not actually going to take mine. I'm going to try and break you down with my Hydra advantage." Yeah. And that very point when he did not do that was the turning point in the game with Curious having a better economy, being able to keep up the aggression, and then even putting pressure onto Live's fourth base, and that should never be the case there. So I think that he made a mistake in terms of maybe um, not expecting the defense with Fungals to be as solid as it actually was. And from here on out, I think he'll definitely tighten up his play. Uh, as you know, results have shown in the GSL, the GSTL, uh, that he is one of the best Zerg versus Zerg plays out there. He understands compositions, he understands strategies, and I expect a crazy game again once again. You know, I, I do too, and I really hope that based off last game, I mean, you think about all the events that took place for life. He got that third down, he got that third down a second time. Uh, he had that great interception of units there between his uh, third and his fourth. I mean, he had all these little advantages that I feel like should have allowed him to compound and win the game. But, uh, you know, as you mentioned, uh, he just needs to tighten it up a little bit. We are going to see some deviation as we're going to have Extractor, then Pool, after Hatch for Life. On the other, on the other hand, we're going to have Curious go for Pool. And then after droning up, we'll drop his Extractor at 17. So he delays his gas just a little bit to squeeze out a few more drones. And uh, he'll take just a small advantage there. And for the first time in this series here, uh, going on into Antigua Shipyard, life is going to be opening up with the, the reins to begin with. He's going to be having speed out early. He will be able to control the flow of the game initially. He will be able to get scouting information with links because it's, it's actually almost impossible to prevent scouting when your opponent has speed and you do not. Even with speed, it's very difficult unless there's a queen block, which is never going to be the case because you always want to be hitting those lava rejects. So I feel that life's going to take this game a little bit, take control of it, and that could be his comeback in this series. Yeah, it really, I mean, if he was going to do it, it it's it's pretty much got to be here because actually it's 3-1, right? Yeah, this... Or no, no, no. It's 2-1. 2-1. 2-1. Yeah. It would put him 3-1. That, of course, is going to be game point. So what we were saying, or I was saying, it'd be so big if Curious actually won this one. Um, so anyway, let's uh, take a look as we are going to have Curious again with those lings at the very uh, at the very front of his pool getting done. The Bane Liness already falling for life. And yeah. uh, he's going to get out his first link. So he'll be able to hold off this little scouting force, no problem. He, but he's going to be able to get in there with these links. Oh, in fact, they're going to pass like two ships in the night. And uh, these links are going to probably see everything going on here. So basically what Life has done is he sent his overlord all the way in the main base to see does my opponent have the same gas timing as me or not? And he didn't. So that's the reason why the bailing nest is so fast. We did see a drone go down there by Curious. Nice little grab. But that's the, the reason for Life going... He never took out a gas. He went speed, bailing nest, and is now setting up to be aggressive because he knows his opponent will not have speed, will not have bailing nest as fast as he does. So yeah. um, Curious uh, does not know exactly the timings of anything, but he's going for an early roach warm once again here. So that will be able to deflect against bailings, but against heavy ling pressure until that roach warren or roach count is high, then Live could do severe amounts of damage to that natural mineral line. He can oh, always yeah. block the ramp, but he, you know, can't really defend his mineral line. No, and I, I think he has a feeling that something is coming here. He's going to see a swell of Zerglings coming out. Immediately, seven roaches are being made along with four Zerglings. He's got... Uh, actually, he separated his queens from the ramp, but he might need to think about doing it yet again. There, a Baneling is going to morph in from the back, and he just brings his roaches back far enough. He can handle this amount of lings. It would be another swell that would be really rough, but it looks like he's returned to drones. So this is going to kind of be a one-and-done attack, I feel like, here. He snipes one, two drones, and then we'll go 
ahead and hightail it out of there. So smart decision coming out here from life. But what is next? He immediately throws down three spine crawlers. And, um, but, uh, you know, I, I wonder what he decides to do next. He, he definitely anticipates that uh, aggression. Yeah, he's very scared of a Roach Bailing attack now. Very possible to do off two bases here. So he's building these units because he only has Lings of his own. But the thing is, if we see Curious overcommit with units, overcommit with Roaches, he simply dies to these Lings. And Curious could be in a bunch of trouble. Remember, both of these guys playing blind. Even a cancellation on one spine. Life is feeling really comfortable seeing the amount of units here. There's no Bailing's being morphed. He has an Overlord in sight. And these Lings are going to smash everything. Even cancels the second spine. He is ready to nail this. Yeah, he is. Oh, my God. It's going to be a quick surround. Baneling doesn't even get any action. And now these Roaches have nowhere to go. And they're going to fall. And this is, uh, you know, just terrible, terrible situation here for Curious as he is going to lose everything. And he's throwing down a third base behind it. But the scary part about this is with 12 more Lings on the way, you know, a counterattack is, is likely to be inevitable. Actually, he does manage to stay alive with those Roaches, but they're just not going to be able to do any more damage. Yeah, Roaches really traded efficiently there. They had good position. They were slammed against the wall rather than surrounded, which was the big difference there for life. And we do see a scout from Curious. Sees the layer, sees the evolution chamber, sees the Roach one as well. So it looks like we are going to see life just go into Roach Infestor eventually, but Roach to begin with. The third base is faster here by Curious, and Life uh, does not know about it yet uh, unless he saw the drone movement down, but in a game as intense as this he may not have seen the drone uh moving he's gonna poke in with his overlord now sees that third base and sees that it's faster than his and he will try to do some damage run by or something along these lines oh. but with the roach count out curious is in good position curious i cannot believe you're not defending that third at least making sure it goes back up we do have a bunch of links coming in here he's gonna have to fight with the reinforcements as well but he still kind of needs those roaches there uh, I mean, he's going to be able to hold it off. The hatchery's not going to go down. Instead, he's like, you know what? I've got this. I'm going to send my roaches down to the third and see if I can't perhaps get a cancellation on there. And I love this because all the units are tied up at uh, Curious's third. And Curious is going to be able to bounce in here. He needs to move all those roaches forward. And there he does. And he is now up against four roaches. He's going to be able to take this out. No problem. He might be able to get some kills and get this third down. But he also can't lose all these units. Ah, he's gonna lose that third hatch, and this is really, really big here, considering Curious has kept his. And is it gonna go down? The Roaches are now fighting against each other. And he's, he's basically oh. saying to you, he's saying, I'll kill the units and the hatch. I know, but that's uh, with the reinforcements there. I just don't think, I feel like he should probably focus down the hatch, and now he's gonna turn around. He feels like he still has enough use to be able to do it, and he is gonna be able to do it. Good calculation coming out there by Curious. As he did, I mean, he, he got his cake and ate it too. There's no doubt about it. And now the, the one thing that Curious does not have an advantage in is tech. Because everything was delayed. He delayed his extra gases on the natural. He had a third base instead. And he does not have Roach Speed. He does not have Infestors down yet. No Infestors in Pit even down. And on the other hand, Life has Roach Speed. He has Borrow. He has Infestors if he wants to use them soon. And is going to push out to try and do some damage. But uh, right now, as long as Curious stays defensive and holds on against this aggression, he'll be able to maintain his economy advantage. Yeah, but he can't hold on to that third. He might just have to sack sacrifice in order just to stay alive because frankly the roach count is gravely in the lead for life and uh, yeah. curious is going to see these roaches go down so you know maybe it wasn't so smart going uh for those units in the hatches he possibly could have just killed the hatchery and then hightailed it out of there um you know his opponent did have speed and now he's really fighting against the numbers yeah, plus one and speed making a big difference here for life's army and his units. And he goes in once again to fight. He's ignoring the third base because he knows he can do significant amounts of damage just on the natural, as simple as that is. Yep. And a lot of drones are going to fall down here as these roaches are trying to do as much damage as they can. A plus one attack has finished up for both players. So pretty equal in terms. Uh, and there are a few more roaches coming out here. So... He's going to hold on, but more, uh, you know, once this is all said and done, the big question is what kind of damage was done. On Curious' side, he's killed five drones. However, on Life's side, he has now killed 16. His third has just been restarted. It looks like he's going to continue this aggression here. Yeah, he's going to continue through. The income is relatively equal aside from gas. The resources apart from that is equal. And right now the upgrades is as well. And is he going to be able to continue this? It looks like life's going to assault this third base. The drones are going to go down too. And it looks like we saw Curious actually droning after that, thinking it was over, thinking that life would go back. And that is not the case. Not at all. And he might hold this off a second time. 
There he gets a burrow off, but now the roaches are gonna be targeted. And uh, he's just trying to hold on. We do have no more roaches actually coming out. So if he holds us off, he's gonna be able to at least assess the situation. And there it is. Now let's take a look. The third base, it's up for life, or it's about to be up for life. Uh, it's still got a ways to go. He's got some infestors out, no fungals quite yet. He'll get that pathogen glands later. Um, but the drone count, drone count 39 for Curious and 43 for life. So really that third hatchery has not necessarily, uh-oh, I'm not sure what that infestor that marching up there by himself. But really the third hatchery is just kind of, it's, it, it, it's a wash, if you will. Yeah, and through these assaults that life has uh, set up on this map, he's nullified the one thing that he was behind in, economy. He destroyed that now, and now it's equalized, uh, if not a little bit in his favor, and now his tech is really going to shine through. He has plus two on the way, he has infestors, there's still no infestant pit even down here for Curious, who's building nothing but roaches, and I think right now, Curious is saying, God damn it, I am behind here, let's build a lot of units, and let's see if I can hold on, and then try to tech up afterwards, as he will start his uh, uh, drone production, but to be honest, he's playing from so far behind in terms of tech and upgrades that he may be resorting into an attack here, which is destined to fail against infestors yeah, and fungals. Yeah, exactly, and that's kind of the scary thing. I mean, um, I certainly I can understand being in that position when you're in such a high uh, sort of hectic game, but at the same time, uh, that uh, he really could just be playing right into life's uh, what life wants here. Now we're going to have a Contaminate on the third hatchery, just trying to do anything he can to, to keep that from uh, benefiting his opponent. But I think you're right. I mean, the units came out, but quite frankly, there's just not even that many units in the infestation pit just now going up. So while Life was getting that great attack off, he also is just teching phenomenally behind it, and he just is looking great right now. Yeah, and we may see a bit of a timing with his up advantage with plus two. He's probably droned the last drones he'll make for this third base to set him roughly around 60 drones or so. And we'll build nothing but units. And with the plus two attack coming uh, or finishing in about 30 seconds here, that's a massive window considering there's no infestation pit down. Plus two is still uh, 90 seconds away for his opponent. He has changelings in there. He sees no infestors. He sees spines going down. So right now, Curious uh, is in a really difficult oh, yeah. position to hold this on. I just, I, I feel like this is probably an impending GG right here. A lot of roaches. I mean, the unit counting station says 37 to 33, but the infestor count where pathogen glands is not even quite yet done. Uh, these infestors are just gonna have a heyday. And there's also some roaches. They were burrowed there. A few of them are immediately gonna go down. There the fungals just spreading plague across the entire roach army of Curious. And there's more fungals to go around as well. And this roach army is just eating Curious alive. Indeed, and Curious is gonna have to GG. And indeed he does as life pulls out 